In today's video, I find myself traveling on board the mighty A380. I go to the best Qantas lounge I've ever been to. My entertainment screen stops working and I enjoy an amazing sunrise landing into Sydney. Yes, that's right. I'm coming to you from Singapore today, the beautiful city in Asia. And today I'm going to be traveling, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to be traveling with Qantas in economy class on one of their A380s in yeah, economy class. Um, I'm traveling on the second half of QF2 from, it originates in London, then it stopped, goes to Sydney via Singapore. I'm flying on it from Singapore to Sydney. So come join me for this flight. Let's see what it's like. I'm in beautiful Singapore at the moment and let's see how it goes. I'm really, I'm really interested to see what Qantas is like on this medium long haul flight, you know, and they just introduced some new rules around filming on board. So that'll be interesting to see any as well. I'm gonna enjoy Singapore for a bit longer and then we're gonna to head to the airport. Let's do this. I did then have an amazing afternoon lunch in Singapore with some friends before taking a taxi to the airport. We then shortly pulled into Singapore's Changi Airport. Yes, welcome back to Singapore's Changi Airport. So I'm departing from Terminal 1. Just heading in now, I've gotta find the Qantas check-in. And it looks to be open already, even though our flight's still like four hours away. I did then find myself a self-checking kiosk and got myself all checked in. And then yeah, shortly after that, I received my boarding passes. Time, yeah. Okay, all checked in then. I got my two boarding passes because I have a connecting flight um, down onto Adelaide. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to go and try and find the jewel at Changi. I think... I think we're on the right way. Here we are. Jewel. Okay, let's head there now. After about 10 minutes of walking, I suspected that this time I would be heading the right way. So cool to actually finally see this thing. This is actually my first time seeing it because I've, I've never been to Singapore before. Wow, this looks amazing. After about 30 more seconds of looking at the jewel, I decided to make my way to the lounge. And it was then soon time to officially leave Singapore behind and head on to Australia. Thank you. Now obviously, as I mentioned before, Qantas do operate the A380 between Singapore and Sydney and vice versa. And they do they have many, many flight daily flights between Australia and Singapore. The bulk of those flights are operated by the Airbus A330. Occasionally you can get the 787 but today what I've got is the A380 because this is part of as I said earlier the QF1 QF2 which goes from Sydney to London and vice versa via Singapore and thankfully you can just book one leg at a time so that's what I've done so I booked the Singapore to Sydney leg because I'm really keen to try out the Qantas A380 and I'm, I hope that you're excited to come with me I'm just walking through the terminal now my next stop is the Qantas Club lounge not the Qantas Club the Qantas business class lounge here so I'm going to head there now. After about 15 more minutes of walking, I did then find the lounge. Hello, how's it going? Passport as well. Thank you. I then made my way into this really nice and fancy looking lounge. I'm really impressed with it. It looks amazing in here. Okay. Welcome to the Qantas Business Class Lounge. This is here in Terminal 1. I think it's the only lounge here. It's quite nice. It's not, it's not too busy. I just found myself a uh, quiet seat here by the back. I'm just gonna try and have a shower and maybe get some food before the flight. Definitely have a shower. <laughs> okay, I'm at the 
into some business lounge shower room. Um, I haven't had a shower in about 24 hours, so I'm, because I've been tra I've just been traveling, so I'm desperately in need of one, and this looks very appealing for a shower. This, this is going to be a very long shower. I'm looking forward to it. I'll speak to you once I've had a shower. Let's do this. All right, great shower. Really good shower in the Qantas shower room. I'm feeling super refreshed. I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go get some food now from the lounge. And honestly, this shower room, this is better than Singapore Airlines, which is just down the road. Which I've had a shower room before. I want to say this much harder than that. So let's go and uh, let's go eat, let's do this. Okay, so I just got myself some food from the Qantas Club, Qantas Business Lounge, sorry. Um, I just went with some chicken and rice, and I got it with a lemon sparkling water drink. The food selection is so good up there, like, it's top quality. They had the Luxa bar, they had some cold salads, they had like a dessert section with some panna cottas. They had a section like chicken and all the meat dishes, rices, make your own sandwich bars, they had everything up there. Really, really impressive for an international, international business class lounge, you know, in a completely different country. I'm, I'm really impressed and I cannot wait to get stuck into this because I'm, I'm really hungry. Okay, so I just went back up and I got myself uh, this chicken luxe, so I'll put it um, they have like a Luxor station here, so um, yeah, let's try it, let's see what it tastes like. I don't think I've had Luxor before. It tastes really good actually, it's quite spicy, but it's pretty good to get in a lounge, you know, a Luxor station and everything, so I'm really impressed with it. I did then go back up and this time I decided to go get myself a range of these desserts, which I really enjoyed trying out all of them. My favourite though would have to be the panna cotta. After I finished eating my desserts, I went up to the bar and got myself a mocktail. This mocktail tasted really nice and had me feeling refreshed before my flight. A really, really good experience in the Qantas Business Class Lounge. It's my first time at this one in Singapore and I actually thought it was really good. Great selection of food, great selection of drinks. They had a bar there, they had a barista, I was able to get some dinner. Yeah, one of the, probably one of the better Qantas lounges I've been to. Anyway, it's now time to head to my cat so we can board the mighty A380 and then head back to Sydney. Let's do this. This would then be the A380 that would fly me on this overnight flight to Sydney this evening. A 15 year old Airbus A380 registered Victor Hotel, Oscar Quebec Delta. This aircraft has just arrived in from London as QF2 and will continue on to Sydney. Hello. Thank you. We did then begin boarding and priority boarding was enforced. Sadly, I don't have that today though. Thank you. Seats are so wide. Um, let's go over some seat features. That's my view, parked next to the Finnair A330. 
which is operating for Qantas. Waiting for my seat when I got here was the Qantas headphones. They're the same ones you get on the domestic flights. A blanket and a pillow. So that's the that's the screen in front of me. It's a decent size. It's a touch screen. And that's the tray table. Moves backwards and forwards. As per usual. That's the seat pocket. Ah uh, got oh, I'll get it out. That getting spilling all my stuff. Got an A380 safety card and a Qantas magazine. It's the headrest can be adjusted. It's very adjustable. That will come in handy for the sleep later. And that's the button to recline your seat. Thankful. Let's look at the room. Oh, it's quite quite generous recline. But yeah, so this is my seat for the seven hour ride over to Sydney. Should, should be a good ride, hopefully. Got a very nice view of the wing, so. That'll mean a pretty nice um, view for takeoff and landing, although sadly, the flight is gonna be mostly in the dark tonight. But hey, I'm still excited. Gonna see just what the service is like, so. Let's go. This then would be my view for the eight hour flight over to Sydney this evening. Okay, so we've got a slight delay because we had some passengers who haven't shown up on the flight but their bags have checked underneath, which means that they have to obviously offload the bags. Apparently it's only gonna be a 10 minute delay. But um, when I'm booking this flight, I had two options. I could have either traveled on the Qantas A380 that we're on, or that Finnair A330 over there. They're both the same price and they both go to Sydney. Um, the Finnair A330 is operating for Qantas um, because Qantas have got rid of some of the A330s and made them cargo jets, but now they've realised that they need the A330s to fly these routes. So that's operating that route. But I did choose this A380 because how can you go past an A380? It's such an, ama it's such an amazing aircraft. And yeah, I'm, I get so excited every time I get to fly on it. You know, flying on a, it's a two level airplane, it's crazy. But yeah, that's why I love traveling on this plane and I'm looking forward to having another flight on it tonight. Hopefully we do get some daylight though so I can look out of that beautiful wing and see that beautiful wing view. Although we, we're scheduled to get into Sydney at about 6 a.m. and I don't think the sun, I think that's when the sun rises so We'll see how we go. But yeah, it shouldn't be too long now. Hopefully, hopefully this delay doesn't go for too long. But yeah. Safety video did then begin playing, so I knew that our departure and pushback would not be too far away. This year's a number of 504 Budway, made from timber and canvas. You'll find in a contest there by Safety 8. Sounds a bit flush than this In the 19th. Following that, we then began our pushback. We soon lined up for the runway and were ready for our departure.
Our departure today would then take us north northeast out of Singapore before flying over the sea, passing over Indonesia, before entering over into Australia, with over, flying over Broome and Western Australia. We then tracked through mainland Australia, passing through Western Australia, the Northern Territory, South Australia, and then into New South Wales, before we completed a holding pattern before landing into Sydney on runway 16 right. Total flight time today was 7 hours and 11 okay, minutes. Welcome aboard the Qantas A380, which just departed from Singapore. Apologies for that takeoff footage. The crew chose not to turn the lights off for departure for some reason, so we had all that glare coming into the cabin. Anyway, I'll go through. So I think the crew are about to bring out a dinner service. Um, so unlike my other flights from S Singapore to Australia, um, overnight this one here has a dinner service and then a small snack for breakfast tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to compare what Qantas gives for a full dinner. But let's have a look at the inflate entertainment system. <coughs> Very, very slow, sadly. You've got to really press down as well. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a bit of a slow and, um, and outdated system. We'll have a look at audio, but in terms of the selection of the actual movies, that's really impressive and something that I'm really impressed with. So we're just going to pop, we'll see what sort of movies Qantas are offering. So, they, so there's quite a decent new selection, of, so quite a new, decent new selection of music available. Um, one feature of the in-flight entertainment that we can see is the moving map. So we've got some information here. Estimated arrival time is 6.17 and oh, looks like the A380 has a camera as well. That, that's really cool. You can see all four engines, so that's pretty cool. And then the best feature of the in-flight entertainment is the fact that you can see what is for dinner. They are, they're the options for dinner. Yeah, so that, that's the in-flight entertainment. You know, the actual, like, what's in the system is really good. It's great, but the, just the screen is just so slow. That's the only thing that lets it down. Other than that, it's, it's fine. It does the job for a six-hour flight. But I guess that screen would get a bit annoying on those longer flights, like America, and then the one too long. Dinner service tonight began with a bottle of water. Okay, so the crew have just come around with dinner. And the 
presentation it definitely is not as good as an Emirates or Singapore Airlines. I got to get a drink in there for me. It's just sort of like, it's about as big as my hand. Comes with a bread roll. I did ask for some sparkling water with my meal, however they didn't have any instead, I was given some soda water, and I didn't think that it tasted too bad to be honest, I enjoyed it. Well welcome to the Qantas A380 Lure Review, this is in economy class right at the very very back of the plane, it's quite spacious here actually, it's not too bad. Quite clean though, from what I can see so far at least. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in fine shape. Um, we've got about, about five hours, five and a half hours to go. So I'm going to go back to my seat now and try and get some rest before a light snack for breakfast tomorrow morning. So let's do that. There's also a little help yourself snack bar at the back of the plane here. Got a Qantas amenity kit. I'll take that one back to my seat. Some rice crackers, headphones, and then looks like there's just some drinks in there. Better get some hot water there. We'll go look at what's in the amenity when we get back to the seat. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in this amenity kit then. Nice eye mask, some earplugs. toothbrush and some toothpaste. I think that's it. Pretty basic but still pretty good for economy class. We'll have to chuck this one on in a second. Okay so the crew have just come around after dinner and they're offering a tea coffee service. I'm not really too thirsty or keen on any of that so instead I was handed out a Head down to Tim Tam instead, which is a nice little before bed treat. Anyway, uh, we've got about five and a half hours to run now to Sydney, so I've just put my blanket on. Hopefully, the crew will turn off the lights as soon as possible so that I can um, get some sleep. But other than that, the flight's going alright so far, nothing really special about it. But yeah, definitely looking forward to getting some rest. So uh, I'll talk to you all in the morning. See you then. Good morning then from the Qantas A380. I literally just woke up about five minutes ago. I woke up to the sound of, do you want breakfast? Here's your breakfast. So yeah, I've just woken up. Anyway, we've got about 55 
minutes to go. I will speak about my thoughts on the flight and the conclusion and how they compare to Singapore Airlines and Emirates and other carriers on this route. But um, one thing I thought was good was they don't wake the cabin up two hours, two and a half hours before landing to service or snack, unlike the other airlines that do that, that I've flown on this between Singapore and Australia, so I thought that was that was really good from uh, Emirates, Emirates, sorry, Qantas, but um, yeah, I'll speak more about my overall thoughts on the flight in the, in the conclusion, because uh, it would be good to compare them to Singapore Airlines and Emirates, who I've flown with in the last couple of months and weeks, on, between Singapore and Australia. For breakfast then this morning I was offered this scrambled egg and mushroom sort of bite snack, something that you would most likely receive on a short domestic flight. Nevertheless, I didn't think that it tasted too bad. I did get this meal with a cup of orange juice. This went down really well in the morning. Yeah, that meal that we just had then, that was pretty good actually. The quality of the food's been absolutely fine. You know, like, the food's been good, it's just the portions, they're not competitive. Anyway, the, um, the sun is slowly starting to rise out there and uh, hopefully we're treated to a nice sunrise arrival into Sydney. But yeah, we've got to be starting our descent soon. We're only 50, 53 minutes away. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get down onto the ground uh, relatively soon in Sydney. I can go to the next lounge and have another shower. That'd be, that'd be good. Okay, then we've just commenced our descent down into Sydney, Australia. The sun's rising very fast out there. I'm not sure how light it'll be under the clouds, though. But let's talk about the flight that's concluded. So, Singapore Airport, the check in was seamless, no lines, self check in went pretty smoothly. Singapore Airport's amazing. You could get lost there for hours, honestly. And then the Qantas Business Class Lounge. That was absolutely amazing. Great lounge. It was great to get a shower there. Yeah, that was amazing. Great selection of food as well. You know, it would be impossible to get hungry there. So, absolutely no complaints there at all. And once we hopped on board, we had a bit of a delay. But, of course, those, those things happen. Qantas's fault. Now my thoughts on this hard product is this seat this seat is it's really good when you look at it like this. The, this sort of thing here that is a bit aged. It's a bit it's a bit dated, you know? So I think that's that does let down the seat a little bit. Um, obviously we took off last night. Now when I flown Singapore Airlines to Australia they try and get their meal service done as soon as possible and then lights out straight away but with Qantas it dragged on like, I literally went to sleep while the lights were still on while they were still serving beverages and that was when we were, that was when we were passing down through Bali which is two and a half hours after departure so the meal service should definitely be wrapped up by then because they have, they have to let people sleep so that's what that's a big complaint there. Because I only otherwise I only got two hours of sleep, two and a half hours of sleep max. But they did let me sleep in this morning, which was uh, obviously a very good thing. Now another another big big complaint here is that my entertainment system they had to restart it during the flight. They couldn't. It just it keeps freezing, freezing. And it's really slow. I'm not sure if it's just my screen, but they're all really slow. But mine's currently frozen at the moment on this screen, meaning that I can only see how long we've got to go, and I can't exit it at all. It's completely unresponsive, which is, it's, it's really annoying. Like I don't, I don't really care that it happened. But if that happened at the start of a 13-hour flight, you know, you'd, you'd be getting quite disappointed with that. Yeah, other than that, I don't know, Qantas, they charge about $500 at a max on this route, 
you can get it for $400 sometimes. So it's not overly expensive, but I do think you get what you pay for. And I definitely, if you can get Singapore Airlines for a price anywhere near similar, I'd definitely choose Singapore Airlines over this any day. You know, it's good, but it's just, it's not competitive with Singapore Airlines. Now, now saying that though, Qantas do operate mainly A330s between Australia and Singapore. This is the A380, which should be better than the A330. But I need to try the A330 before I go make those big claims about them not being as good as Singapore Airlines. So maybe that's one for another time. But yeah, I, at this rate, from what I've seen here, I'd be choosing Singapore Airlines any day of this. But more importantly, we are now descending down into Sydney, Australia. I've been to Sydney in a good few months, so I'm looking forward to getting back there. And uh, I'll speak to you after we land, hopefully. After completing a holding pattern, we were then cleared to land into Sydney Airport on runway 16 right on this beautiful summer's morning, landing into Sydney. After a short taxi, we had soon then reached the gate. Okay, I made it to Sydney, back in Australia. Um, an average flight for Qantas. To be honest, it was quite average. Nothing special about it, but also at the same time, there was nothing really wrong with it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Until this point, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm gonna go take another flight to Adelaide now. That will be in a separate video. Yeah, thanks so much for watching the video until this point. I'll see you all next week for another video. Stay tuned. I would like to take this chance to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their continuous and ongoing support. Their generosity ensures that I'm able to keep traveling and making videos just like this one. If you'd like to join them, I'd put a link in the description box down below. If you'd like to do a donation with some one-off payment, it can be done so through PayPal down below. I'll have links to both these websites down below. Any amount is really appreciated.